Hi guys, hi. My name is Landa Ninyebe. I'm from the Eastern Cape in Novo and I've lived most of my adult life in the Western Cape. So I identify with both places. But today I'm going to talk about the importance of us as black people to unite and also about the property cooperative which I'm part of which I'm part of which I'm part of the founders who initiated it so I've written down some seven points that I'm gonna speak um, about so the first point is why group investment I've been sharing a lot on Facebook about why is it important for us as blacks to unite and to build a legacy for our generation and for the next generations of black people. First of all, working in isolation is something that we've did for quite some time, for a long time, and it hasn't worked. Poverty has a color in South Africa. It's associated only with mainly with black people. Why? Because if each black person, when they have money, they want to shine and be the only one who's uh, seen as driving the latest car, uh, wearing the most expensive clothes, expensive handbags like Boma, Louis Vuitton, and all that. We don't real. We haven't realized the power of unity. That's what I'm trying to preach, and I hope that is a message that someone will buy into it and see the importance of us working together. How much can we achieve if we can put our trust in fellow black people? Did just we used to say, put your faith in a friend. Let's put our faith in each other and try fellow black guys and see how far we will go you know the most of us like whether you're a teacher nurse or call center employee we rent flats i've been renting for a while as well i only bought a flat about three years ago so the flats that we rent most of them like those uh, complexes that we're proud of, they are owned by a trust, a trust which is formed by a group of non-black people. They put money together, they build those flats, and they are sitting at home, they are enjoying profits. From whom? From us. From us. Why can't we do the same? If they can be able to do that, why can't we do the same? Okay. Uh, next point. I said um, part of the founders of Black Bundle Movement is a registered property cooperative. We registered it at uh, CIPC in 2019, 24th January 2019. Uh, the registration number, I'm going to share it. You can be able to go to the website of CIPC and see if indeed we are registered. Uh, and then you will also see who are the founders. Our names will be there, my name will be there. Uh, black Bundle Movement is is about blacks according to BEE classification, meaning the black people as we know them, the Indians and the coloreds. Because as I'm, as I've said, poverty is a color in South Africa. The blacks, the colors, the Indians have previously, before 1994, were excluded from the economy. Hence, now we don't know much about financial education. We don't know much about businesses. We are told of small businesses, but we don't, black people are part of Beto SA, part of this, uh, but they are owning the malls and all that. We are not there. We are told about small businesses. Why can't we have big businesses like the ones, like the people who have, it starts small. You, you don't just jump and own like uh, an FNB, for example. No, you start small. So I'm going to unpack everything. Uh, verification. How would you be able to verify us? That's the third point. You can be able to meet our founder, founders. We have 
three in Western Cape, we have uh, two in Gauteng, we have one in the Eastern Cape, we have one in KZN. If you want to personally meet some of us and then you'll be, you'll be able to see if like the face that you see is the one that you saw on, on the website of Black Bandu Movement. And also you can, another verification is this, you can check us with the CIPC. Third verification, there's a, um, we collect funds through www.stockflat.mob. It's a registered, um, it's a registered financial services provider which is backed up by FNB. So it is transparent. The nice thing about it, you can see how many members the group has. Like now you will be, you'll be able to join to register on stockflat.mob, search for Black Band Movement, join there. No, no terms and conditions, you can just do all of that. It doesn't mean that you must pay or you have to do something after that. Then when you go there, you will see how many members are there. You will see how much money have we raised so far. You will see previous, um, the minutes of the previous meetings. You will see how much money we have currently. So those are some of the ways that you can be able to verify us. Fourth point. Black Bandit Movement focuses mainly on property investment, whether it's flip, flipping property, malls, uh, uh, centers for business, uh, rental flats, uh, office buildings, any business that we have chosen property mainly because it is a safer way of investment and also it's not demanding because I'm, I'm full-time employed Many people are full time are working full time as well, so we want to create to find a way of creating passive income while we are employed. Then now we can be able to see as things go as years goes by, go by if now we have generated generated enough money enough passive income that we can leave our jobs and then focus on individual businesses. Property like. It's a long-term investment, it needs patience, but it is the one investment that even if someone owns some chicken leaking, owns, uh, has got some shares in banks, ultimately they want to invest in property. Why? Because property will be there for the longest time until you die. It will be there for your kids and, their, and your great-grandchildren. It is safe to invest in and you don't have to lift a finger. You only you will only attend to minor issues like uh, giza best and all of that, and you ensure right. You do things by the book that which we're planning to do. You partner with uh, registered people like the accountants and all of that, which we are planning to do. Okay, the fifth point. Okay, I actually attended to this. Where can you find the founders? So in the Western Cape, you can actually. Give us a call. I'm here. I want to meet this person. You will arrange and go to meet that person. Mm -hmm. We can also arrange video call. We can also, like, you can try by, and also my personal address is on the zone, our registration paper. So some people are scared of scams. If I was planning to scam anyone, I wouldn't share my personal address unless I'm down. And I don't think I'm done. Contributions. How do we build this passive income? Each of us, we must take money out of what the money that we earn, put that money together, build businesses. Because individually, you can't. Most of us wish that we were owning a block of flats, we were owning a mall, we were owning whatever. But if you are earning 10,000 per month, you have this black tax, you have you also have kids, you have well, insurances, that 10,000 is forever not enough. So now we have created this property cooperative such that all of us can give out a little that we have, contribute, put together and start building slowly, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. So the amounts are like this. You can contribute 50 rand per month, you can contribute 5,000 rand per month, you can contribute any amount in between, as long as it is a multiple of 50 rands. 
most people ask why don't we contribute uh, just the same amount because it's going to be confusing no it's not going to be confusing this is a movement our name is black bundle movement we do not want to exclude people who are earning less i might be earning three thousand per month you, you might be earning three hundred thousand per month so we don't want to just put people who, who are earning a lot of money together to build wealth for themselves and leave out our fellow poor black people no we want each person who believes in this idea to be able to contribute into it and be part of it and like we are slowly building each other we're slowly building wealth for the black nation so if you are contributing maybe four thousand rands per month it this the person who's contributing 50 rands or 100 rand per month is not going to affect your shares you will contribute of the 4,000 rand per month it means you, you are going to have more shares in this cooperative the person contributing 100 rands will have less shares but the nice thing is that we will be together we will be sharing information you will be, we will be learning from each other and ultimately we will also have like a, we will also be a respected race in the society because right now people when they see us they see people are good enough to clean their homes people are good enough to clean the streets that's us and now no there's no money that's going to come from heaven no one is going to come and give us a million rents each because you were previously disadvantaged you are black you are racially excluded no it's us who must group each other and then start building wealth and then before i go to the last point in point number six we'll put this money together then our aim is to make one million rands per month so one million rands per month is not a it's not a big number it's a big number for one person but it's not a big number for a group if five thousand black people for example they contribute to this an average of 200 rand per month we are able to make 1 million rand per month that mm. means you can be able to to buy a, a house each and every month it's up to us or a flat in whatever uh, high class society which will rent it out we can be able to buy land maybe this month and then after two months or three months when you have three million we build on that land so that's how it's going to work and it can work and it will work because we will keep preaching unity amongst blacks so when those block of flats are there those houses are there those uh, shopping centers are there each of us we, we are the shareholders so the people who are renting there the money is going to go straight to the bank account of the cooperative then the accountants that we're going to work with are the ones who are going to calculate okay Ndandane so far has uh, into this cooperative has uh, contributed maybe 10,000 or maybe 100,000 over this uh, three year period we are aiming to it for a three year period by the way now we are on the on month 15 mm -hmm. so this means that now from the rental money her share is maybe 5% so this means that from a rent of maybe 200,000 from this block of flats, Dandani must get maybe 1,000 rands per month. That's an example. That's how it's going to work. You are contributing now. We are buying uh, houses together. You are owning a share. After the three year period, you will get passive income. Uh, it's going to be calculated according to how much you paid. It goes straight to your bank account. That's how passive income is created. Last point. Um, last point. I feel strong about this one. You know, they say that we, we must learn from those who are already at the top. They said that Black, uh, Bill Gates, he started his company, Google, in the garage. He didn't have it fancy office he didn't have a nice smartphone smart laptop but he had a dream 
and all of us now like this video is uploaded through youtube which is uh owned by bill gates it starts with a dream it starts with believing in yourself mark zuckerberg started his facebook on his in his in his uh, dormitory mm -hmm. invited his uh, schoolmates that they must go there all of them now are billionaires so that's how it starts guys you will not just find yourself having a 5,000 rands that's going to your account passively every month without having worked for it. Partner with like-minded people and then you shall succeed. Let's start believing in each other, guys. We can do this. We can do this.